Cloud Pirates is an action MMO similar to games like War Thunder and World of Warships, but with its own spin. It's similar on almost every concept except the game modes and the setting, and finally it looks more like Guns of Icarus with its steampunk setting. To start off, you'll find yourself in your bay, which has all of your unlocked ships. In your bay, you're able to upgrade your ships with special modules, new turrets, engines, and other parts. You're able to repair your ship after battle as well and choose what game mode you want. The game has a couple of game modes which helps keep the gameplay fresh. If you choose to queue for normal battles, you'll get one of any game mode, seemingly randomly. That can also be bad if you prefer one game mode, but I didn't see any of them as entirely dislikable. There's also clan battles and event battles that unlock only at certain times during the day that you can take part in as well. That's interesting, but is also a little limiting if you have a busy schedule. The gameplay is pretty fast paced compared to something like World of Warships. It's arcadey and you get special abilities based on the type of ship you're flying, and your experience will vary based on what types of guns you equip and what class of ship you go with. The gameplay itself is actually really fun and solid, no match is ever the same. Most of the current player base though seems to not be the best at this game unfortunately. It was pretty easy in the first two tiers against other players. My biggest complaint gameplay wise though is just that the game is a bit unstable. Every hour or so you'll queue for a game and then you'll just get stuck on the loading screen forever and then you have to restart the game and then you'll find your ship is unavailable because it's stuck in a game that you never loaded into. My favorite part of the gameplay on the other hand is how it has actual quests. It gives you goals with sizable rewards for accomplishing these goals. It's a nice change from its competitors that just expect you to play to enjoy the grind. And yes, this game is just as grindy as its counterparts are. Then there's the problem of the fact that Cloud Pirates is wildly unpopular. <laughs> it's good to note that the majority of the player base does not play on Steam, but it's also good to note that the Steam player base peaks at only 200 players per day. Almost everyone that plays Cloud Pirates plays low tiers. The higher tier you get and go up, the more bots you'll find injected into matches to make up for the lack of a player base. This makes late tier games unenjoyable and repetitive. Since the game doesn't come with any cooperative modes or single player experience, you're essentially limited to the lower tiers unless you want to play an empty multiplayer match. The graphics are thankfully pretty charming and the sound effects all work nicely, the controls are just fine and the animations are all great, but all of this is moot unless you can stomach the repetitive buggy AI filled PvP gameplay in a dwindling player base that just keeps getting smaller. And notice how half of what I said is redundant, it shouldn't be redundant, but that's just the state of this game. Cloud Pirates is free to play so as you can imagine it has some monetization, and due to their lack of a player base, they shove all the packs and sales and premium currency right in your face. It's really rather annoying and some of the offers are even a little disguised. For example, there's a quick start button which I assumed would just launch me into a match. No. It turns out that's a quick start pack sale. Overall, Cloud Pirates is a fun game, but it's been left in a buggy state with an apathetic, unskilled, and dying player base. It was a good attempt to make something innovative, but it failed. Cloud Pirates gets a 5 out of 10 for me, because in all honesty, it still lacks things to do, and the stability of the game is garbage. It crashes and gets stuck way too often. It's been in this state for a while, and it's not going to be fixed anytime soon. On the off chance it does, no one will still be playing to see it. I'd stay away from this one if I were you, no matter how fun the actual concept and base gameplay is. If you found this review helpful and you want to see more just like it, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out our social media links in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next Res Reviews.